is a story out about how uh, a lot of, uh, of the influential progressives, I love that, <laughs> if you played ball with the Obama team during the election, then you were influential, got uh, tickets to the White House. Of course they did. They had a meeting, right? Uh, so Rachel Maddow, uh, Ed Schultz, Lawrence O'Donnell, Al Sharpton, so all the MSNBC hosts, Arianna Huffington. Now to be fair, Arianna Huffington has written some really critical stuff of the administration, and Rachel from time to time will say, hey, you know, uh, some of the things they do aren't right. You know, I, I, of course I would go a little harder. <laughs> okay, but at least they do it a little bit. Now Al Sharpton, of course, has in the past said that he will never criticize the president. So, very, very bold. So did they get an invite because they're just influential or possibly because, hey, job well done? Of course! You know who didn't get invites? The people who were sometimes critics of the administration. Now, I'm not, not, it's not about me, okay? I don't give a damn about getting an invite to the White House, etc. Look, I like celebrities just as much as anybody else, but the last thing in the world I want is to be corrupted by that. So look, look, look at all the folks, right? Did Jeremy Scahill get an invite from the White House after he criticized them about drone attacks, etc.? <laughs> Did Glenn Greenwald get an invite? Oh, come, 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 come. Yeah, Glenn Greenwald, Glenn Greenwald. He not gonna get an invite, <laughs> okay? So the guys who were friendly got an invite. And again, give them credit, because Arianna Huffington has had some serious criticism of the administration. So the funny thing is, Fox and Friends is flabbergasted by this. Like, is it true that they went there because they were friendly? Of course, right? But you're surprised by this? All right, here comes the fall outrage. Look who was invited to the White House for a briefing. Who was left to run MSNBC it's yesterday? It's incredible. Rachel Maddow, Al Sharpton. Pat Buchanan. Got, oh, he got kicked out. <laughs> Ed Schultz and Arianna Huffington. Yeah, of yes. course it's not. I don't know why anyone's surprised by I'm that. I'm shocked by that. You to invite are? five talk show I'm hosts not? in to get All from the same channel. All from the same channel? I'm That's not, outrageous. It, it, might be, uh, it might be outrageous, but I'm, what I'm saying is that I'm not surprised by it at, at all. I mean... That's the message, that, those, that, that station's delivering the message of this administration, so it makes sense. It'd be nice to see somebody from CBS, somebody from NBC, and Fox News Channel invited as well. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> but you know, with Obama, you never know. He gives them interviews all the time. But, but you really, Fox News is outraged that a cable news channel might be too close to one of our political parties? Come on, man, you're kidding, right? No, they continue this charade. And if you think about it, the president has said he's not talking to Republicans unless they agree to raise the rates. He hasn't talked to uh, Majority Leader Cantor in over a year. But yet it's time to meet the talk show hosts on another channel. Uh, that's incredible. Well, maybe it was a thank you of sorts for the re-election. Incredible. I can't believe it. Look, I agree with Gretchen. It was a bit of a thank you. Let's keep it real, right? But like, I can't believe they would be this close to a, to a party. Just yesterday, this story broke in the Washington Post that Roger Ailes, the head of Fox News, sent a Fox News analyst, Katie McFarland, to go talk to Petraeus and deliver a message and say, hey, listen, don't take the CIA job, head of the CIA. Take the Joint Chiefs job if he offers it. Otherwise, drop out and run against Obama. Roger Ailes will be your, will run your campaign. Murdoch will finance it. Don't take my word for it. It's on tape. Here it is. The big boss is bankrolling it. Roger's going to run it. And the rest of us are going to be your in-house. Yeah, right. Okay. We're all set. And then the next day they come out like, can you believe a cable news network would work with one of our political parties? Outrage. <laughs> Jimmy? Um, what would they talk about if they went there anyway? Uh, war on Christmas? What are they going to bring up when they get there? <laughs> you know, hey, it's nice to be here with uh, all the Mexicans and blacks who voted for you base bait. What are they going to say to them? What do they want to say to them? Yeah, no, I hear you on that, man. There's a couple of things I'd like to say. Some chance that's why I didn't get the invite.